what's up guys coming off the back of two losses this weekend unfortunately couldn't get there with our kid list yesterday uh, I made a, a pretty crucial misplay uh, in my last round for top cut I got up to 3-0 and then I lost to a kid player mostly because I drew all guys so again you know, I sound a little a little rough here. I'm sorry. But uh, I also just wanted to say, guys, play what you're comfortable with. Like, this is my deck. I've been playing this deck the most. I beat Kaidos with this deck. I beat, I'm beat. i going to beat two zeros. Uh, spoiler alert. In this video. You know, I'm beating my bad matchups. I'm excelling in the matchups that I'm good in. So, you know, play what feels comfortable for you because that's what works. That's what I feel like has been working for the Dolphy players. It just vibes for them, and this clicks for me. So, again, just play what you're comfortable with, and I promise you success will come. Ignore my, my crappy little attitude here. <laughs> Player. Mostly because I drew all my green cards, and I drew nothing red. Uh, and then off the top of my Bonnie, I could have grabbed Zoro, and I ended up grabbing Ecos Kid, which in hindsight was a pretty big mistake. Because that was the red card I needed to start doing shambles. So, unfortunately, uh, misplay. I mean, don't try and play card games or use your brain at 12 and 1 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> the tournament ran pretty long, so. Uh, oh, well. Uh, so that was the first one. And then day two today, uh, I was playing our kid list here. Uh, very defensive list. Uh, I ended up losing to Kaido. Um, I just, uh, I drew Momo and I was getting value off the of Momo and I never saw Bonnie. And then in turn, I lost access to my top end. So he was able to go over the top of me with Kaido. So that was a round one loss there. And then game two, I had the nuttiest game against a Dofi player. Literally hit all his 2Ks. Like he stacked it a little bit with his, his card. So he was able to get there, but like literally... Like, even if you stack your cards, he still saw seven, if I'm not mistaken. It's like, it was six or, no, seven 2k counters. So I was playing it out, I was playing it out, I killed all his Mihawks, he killed all of my Acos kids. It was a nutty-ass game. But at the end of the day, I just didn't have anything left in the tank. Um, I got him down to two life. I was getting there, I was close, I could have gone to it. He was only, he was playing off the top, uh, pretty much. I was able to drain his resources from hand, but like I said, 2k counters saved the day for him. Um, so that's how that went. So that was a 2 drop, but it is what it is, boys. It is what it is. You can't win everything. So today we're going to try and grab a game of OPO2. Actually, no, OPO2, OPO1. I'm not loading the right deck though. I'm just gonna stick with kid. Uh, I'm just kid law. Kid law. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna stick with law just because it's my go-to deck. Um, it's the one I know by far the most. So just play what you're comfortable with, guys. This is not it, Chief. That's better. Uh, we're gonna go double up on chopper pass. So yeah, hope you guys are enjoying OP01. I will say that while I don't think Dofi is that good, it is really cool to see that people are like doing really well with him in this opening weekend while people are figuring out the game. Uh, I'm gonna take one, no trigger. And I'm gonna counter out the second one. Maybe I block. Let's let's walk here. Okay. I'm gonna what's on to this? Attack five K. I might try and get a webcam game for you guys after. Unfortunately, I didn't record any of the matches. Uh, I was trying to like focus. 
I don't want VI to pressure recording. Uh, but if that's something you guys want to see, I'll, I'll start recording like just random webcam games I can grab. Because it does feel good to shuffle cards, man. I haven't done that in so long. Um, I'm going to go like this. I'm going to attack like this. He's going to block for me anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And if he, yeah, I didn't expect him to do it. Uh, we'll play Bonnie and pass. That's fine. If he goes like seven with either of them, I take the damage. You know, he's gonna tr end up trading. That's fine. Um, now I take no trigger. This is good. That's even better. Okay. So we're gonna go to here, attack here. All right, I've set up, boys, I've set up. So let's go like this. I'm gonna take this kid for the next turn. Then we're gonna go chopper, activate, bounce, brook, play him, use card, bounce Otama, play Robin, and now we're in the driver's seat, boys. So, I can drop Acos Kid. I'm gonna let him take Bonnie if he swings it. That way I can open up my board. That's fine. It's not fine, but it is what it is. Um, I got some stuff here, I got some stuff. I can go Acos Kid. Uses effect, play Brook, attach Shudan to him with Aethon. So, that's nice. If he attacks me, no, nah, that's fine. You got it, Chief. So, like I said. Uh, no, I'm going to attack first. Always attack first. Uh, he's going to Red Hawk. That's fine. I want to keep my blocker. Oh, doesn't have Red Hawk. That's fine. So, we deploy. We're gonna use Brook and touch two and pass. That's one of the very many cute things you can do with this deck. So now he has to get through a blocker and attack my Ecos kid. So probably looking for Luffy here. Robin doesn't help him here because I'm just going to play Cat Piper. So I got stuffs. 2020 Choppa. Better. Okay. So yeah, he's going to play out the. He has to have a Luffy. Otherwise, he's kind of screwed. Or even Otama Pistol. But he used no pistol already, so not very likely. See what he does with his remaining Don here. Cavendish. Uh, we definitely don't do that here. Um, let's just attach one. Attack pop. Went super aggro. Don't play this card, guys. Uh, just play 2K Sanji. Does something very similar. Well, that's annoying, but not the end of the world. Cause tap down this Robin. Um, I'll attach to here, attack here.
attach one there. And I'll attach two here. So I attach one to not lose my blocker law. If he gets another pistol off trigger, it's I only lose the chopper. And nope. So yeah, he's dead next turn. He has to get through two blockers and 5k worth of counter in my hand. Six cards. There's the Luffy. Probably has to go all in on this Luffy to even try and have a chance of killing Kid. If he doesn't, uh, then that's a big misplay. 9k, that is not it. Yeah, there's the game. All right, guys, I could not get a second game, or rather the webcam game's going with that guy, unfortunately. I, something's weird when I try and screen cap and use the Discord cam. So that didn't work. I gotta figure out a better way to do that. But I did win 2-1 against Kaido. Um, with law, by the way. <laughs> I have to keep using our parallel arts, guys. It's just good luck. Um, huh. uh, just play Nami, grab Choppa, play Choker, go. My only other option there was 2 Zoro. Unfortunately, I have to bottom them. Uh, could be useful for trading later, but not in this case just because um, he just has to defend and I won't be able to like pump damage into them the way he can Let's see what my opponent does here trying to bounce back from two straight losses guys Sound a little dejected before, but you know, it is what it is. You got to lose some to win some, right? So every loss is a lesson. All those euthanisms. <laughs> so let's see what opponent does here. I don't know if he's tanking. He lagged out. What's going on? All right, there's Robin. That is getting pistoled right now. I attack for five. I take it. I promise you I'll take it. Just do it. Yeah. Result. No trigger. Um. End the turn, bro. All right. Cool. Oh, all right. Uh, we're attacking five. Hopefully, he doesn't have pistol off life here. If I had cat viper, I, I would have done a cat viper brook. And risk it just because I want to add to the board, obviously. But unfortunately, I'm gonna have to take the time off to do that and pass. Let's see what opponent does here. Ah. <sighs> tanking <laughs> i might have to like take a break and wait for him to come back all right opponents just really slow at playing lagging i don't know uh all he did last turn was play sanji two blockers and attack so i took it uh played hawkins left one open for that Let's see what opponent decides to do from here sanji so you attach one attack five
three cards, so I'm hoping he doesn't have pistol here. Uh, block. We're gonna do that kid combo again. Uh, I'm gonna attack here. sitting on a lot of counter here, so it's good for me. Um, probably deciding whether or not he wants to block here. I mean, if you're trying to play aggressive, then I would say, yeah. Uh, I really don't know what our opponent is doing. He's thinking so hard. He's in the future. He's playing set three. I'm, I'm just a noob. That's how far ahead this man's thinking. The real talk, bro. Can you just make a move? There you go. All right, playing kid, activate kid, play Brook, attach to, pass. See what opponent does now. I uh, definitely gave him something real annoying to attack into. Opponent has to attach to Don. Oh, he hasn't even started the turn yet. We have the click through option. Personally, I think that's annoying. They should just take that off because a lot of people just click through and they go draw a card, draw two Don, and then they end turn. <laughs> uh, I don't like that option. Just auto set your draw on Don. There's no reason to not do that. Uh, and then always enable the are you sure you want to end turn button for people who get too fast. I can't tell you how many times I've seen people lose games and concede because they click through their entire turn. So... Uh, I might have to <laughs> take another pause, guys. I'm so sorry. All right. Opponent finally decided to make his move. He's going all in, Jambe style. So that's what, 13k? So we go 10, 12, 13, 14. Nice try there, guy. Uh, his other cards can't do shit. I draw. Huh. Let's go. Let's put two here. Let's activate. Let's bounce Nami. Cancel. Replay Nami. Bet you guys didn't know you could do that one, huh? Uh, um, we'll take Robin because that's all I can take. I really wish I had you guys. Um, we're going to attach one here. And attack here. Let's go like this for nine. I want to put him at one, but this might be good enough. If he drew pistols, I'm sad boy. Kills my blocker. Nope, no pistol. Uh, maybe it was the other card, the the thingamajig. I'm gonna keep it just because it's counter stat and pass. So let's make him have it here. I still have five k counter in hand. Next turn, if I can untap the kit, uh, I'm gonna try and go for game. Definitely don't think I can survive another turn. Let's see what opponent does. My man's playing red. I'm thinking. He's thinking. So he's going to try and chip at me, I'm assuming. Uh, 
So the good thing is he doesn't have like a pistol or something. Guys, never do this. Never pre-attach Don until you're sure what you're going to do here. Even if the last card is John B, like never do that. Okay. So that kind of messes with my plans a little bit. So we're gonna go to here. Um, I can elect to clear board here. Um. Uh, I mean, I'd be, even if he took both cards, he does seven cards in hand. I don't see myself killing him. I don't think he's even used the 2k counter yet. So, yeah, I'm just going to threaten his board. Try and use up the blocker, any 2ks he has in hand. Uh, most likely, my kid's dead next turn, but I'm going to have to let that one go. He's still going to have to attach a lot of Don. So, let's make it expensive for him by getting rid of some of this. Oh yeah, uh, we're having a free sim tournament, so I might upload that as well, guys. So for you guys that don't know, um, I am in school and working full time right now, but I'm going to be starting my physical therapy assistant program in January. So my last day of work is the 15th. So after that, I'm going to be uploading a hell of a lot more. So look out for that. Like I said, guys, I just want to take the resources. Uh-oh. He gets Zoro. That's dicey. Um, so let's make believe. Uh, <laughs> let's make believe here. Uh, this is a simple 2k. Attach one. All right. Man has everything at his disposal next turn. I'm faking a counter here. If I can pull two attacks with the kid, though, I th I'm pretty sure I just went. All I need is him to absorb two attacks. So like if he tries to do a dumb attack of just AK, then that's good for me. Which guys, oh, I forgot his name, Cross Eye. Cross AI, however you do it, I'm sorry. I don't know your, <laughs> how, you, how you say it, but his channel had a really cool video on like how to properly attack into ACOS code. That was from a couple months ago when people were you know playing on the simulators. Uh, go check that out. Uh, doing these AK attacks, even with two cards in hand, like you're wasting attacks. And especially if you have no life like this, this is no good. So um, definitely think about, think better on how you're going to attack into kid. This should, in my opinion, at minimum be a 10k attack. Ensure he's dead rather than drawing it out, wasting all your attacks, your resources. But again, let's see what opponent does here. All right, there's Zoro. He attaches at least one here. So that leaves him six open. He still needs to attach two to this. I don't know what you're doing there. Um, yeah, so he still needs to attach Don. Two more here. And two more here to get at least two AK attacks. But like I said, it, he's better off going one 10K attack. And this is what I mean, the guys don't pre-attach Don unless 
until unless you're attacking into life and doing like playing around the pistol don't do this because you don't know what you want to do yet uh yeah that's better that's fine i take my last life He has no Dawn, seven cards. I'm pretty sure he picked up a, uh, a Red Hawk. 100% sure he picked up a Red Hawk because he thought it really hard for a second. Um, tries to clear board, it's fine. So at least one card in his hand is dead, leaving him with six. Do I care? Like I said, I still haven't seen any 2k counters, so I'm going to protect it for now. It's probably still holding up. Some sort of defense here, so I might go like a little bit to pull whatever I can. Reduce the number a little bit. Robin. All right. If he has two two Ks or three two Ks, right? Because I'm attacking for ten. Uh, you got it, brother. I mean, this is still one of my hardest matchups. If I get there, I get there. And I do. GG. Alright, guys. That's the end of the law. Felt good to, you know, come back. You know, show off some stuff for you guys. Like that cute little Nami. Bounce, don't play, then replay Nami. It's a way to, like, try and dig for more resources when you're in those, like, grindier-looking matchups. So, let's show it off again. Um, so I think I was playing a third pistol on my list, so I took that out and I added the extra. It's just another, for me, it's another sh way to shore up the, the red matchup. Uh, just killing Zoro and sticking a 6k on board, or killing a Robin that attacked already, or killing an Okiku that attacked already. So I, I like having this extra effect that Killer gives us, but like on a big body. Um, it might be overkill, but again, I'm just trying it out. You can always just play, uh starter deck law in this slot um but this is what i'm going right now i want to control the board just a little bit that's that's it for the list uh hope you guys enjoyed watching i'm gonna get over this slump and i'm gonna keep bringing you guys w's i promise all right like and subscribe peace